Sup WordPress nerds. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can remove the fuzzy matching in your URLs for WordPress. Um, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. And all right, so what is fuzzy matching in a URL? Well, it's something that happens when you are trying to like enter in a URL into um, through either like a link or manually typing it into the URL bar. And WordPress tries to intelligently guess what that um, your intentions are with that URL. So let's take a quick look at an example here. So I have two URLs, headless WordPress is great and uh, headless horseman origin story. So if we do a quick edit real quick, we can see that it's a uh, headless dash WordPress dash is dash great for that one. And then for the other one, it is headless dash horseman dash origin death story. So two very different types of articles. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna visit this one real quick. Headless WordPress is great. And so we get to that URL. And if we go to headless horseman origin story, we get that one. So there's gonna be a case where we delete this one. Headless WordPress is great. So let's just edit this post real quick. We're gonna move it to the trash and then we are going to empty the trash. So what we're gonna do is we're then gonna try and maybe we're getting and we're, when we're trying to type in headless dash and then we um, hit enter and then all of a sudden, you know, we're on headless horseman's origin story. So WordPress is trying to be helpful here and in a lot of cases it is, <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you a problem with this. So if we open up the dev tools and I make sure that we're recording like all of the things happening here. Yep, let's uh, expand that a little bit. So I'm gonna clear this out. I'm gonna delete everything but headless dash and I'm gonna show you what happens. So we're gonna hit enter and something happens right here. And this is WordPress being helpful again. It's saying, oh, you typed only in headless dash. Well, that doesn't exist, but headless dash horseman dash origin story exists. We're gonna give you that. And that's like, okay, so like the user's not hitting a 404 or whatever, and that's pretty good. Um, but it's like 301ing into the other, other page, into the other URL. Now, the reason why I'm even like bringing this up as a video is because I had a request from somebody um, on the SEO team for probably a couple months ago, and they're like, hey, like I'm having trouble like understanding where like our 404s are throughout our site. We had like thousands and thousands of pages, right? And it's it is real difficult to know like what pages exist and don't exist anymore when like coming across through their analytics were just 301 redirects. And we have thousands of 301 redirects as well. So like, how are we supposed to tell between like which ones are like 404ing and they're just being like, intelligently match to a new URL versus, you know, an actual um, 301 redirect that we've, you know, moved the content or whatever. So I was like, oh dang, like WordPress is doing something back in here. How do we remove this? Cause what I want to have happen is if somebody enters in a URL that doesn't exist, I just want it to 404. I need that, like, I need that report. I need those analytics so I can go in and fix those URLs. And it gives me better, like an idea of like how people are using my site and what's actually been removed and stuff like that. And any broken links that I potentially have, I don't want them to be hidden because if I have a link that's supposed to go to my headless WordPress uh, is great thing, I don't want, you know, it to like get moved over to like headless horseman origin story, or if I have a partial one, I don't want it to like partially match something. I want exact matches all the way through. So it's actually a pretty darn easy fix once you uh, kind of understand what's going on. So in like WordPress's life cycle, it's saying like, all right, if I can't find this, then I'm just going to get redirect it to like the new URL. Well, all we have to do is add a filter to the redirect canonical uh, hook. Um, so that's very specific to this. We need to make sure that we're adding a filter to that. And what that filter is gonna do is it's going to give us the redirect URL. We're gonna to check to see if currently we are on a 404. And if we are on a 404, we wanna return false. We want it to not redirect to the canonical. 
But if it's not a 404, yeah, keep going. Redirect to the uh, redirect the URL and do your thing just like normal. All we're really doing is this part right here. That's what we're changing. And so if we save this, and when we go to, let's clear this out, just like headless dash, we're gonna get that 404. It's gonna be like, oh, like, yeah, that doesn't exist. I'm not gonna do anything else. Just 404 and be done, which is perfect. That solved the problem that the SEO person needed. And that kind of gives me a better idea of kind of how my site is. So this may or may not be a problem for your site, but there was a specific use case that I ran into where I was like, this was helpful. And so just kind of understanding what was going on in the background. There's not really like a filter for it specifically. It's actually funny, like I was reading up on it a little bit and came across like a, um, an article explaining that there's a t there was a ticket and a patch like made nine years ago because somebody ran into like a, a problem very similar to this. And we're not entirely sure why it never made it into court, but it didn't, but that's the way that you would fix it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>